Hey everybody, welcome in. It's another Landmark Live. I'm Ivan Foley. This is Chris Kamler. Hi guys. We're Good down morning. at Chris's happy place. This is the earliest we've ever done a Landmark Live before. It is. It's probably is the really last incredibly time. early. Probably the last time we roll out of bed and do a Landmark Live in the same hour. Um, Clarify, roll out of bed. We were separate beds. Separate beds. Separate beds. Yeah, let's, uh, we were in separate that. beds uh, last night. A uh, new thing. Now listen, it's a big weekend for us. Two shows today. We're down at Parkville Days. We're we doubled up. our budget. We, yeah. Chris is doing this show for free. That's how tight the budget is. I do most all of my shows for free, <laughs> unfortunately. After this show here at Park University, where we're going to talk volleyball, we're going to head downtown uh, somewhere at an undisclosed location and do another Landmark Live. All to celebrate Parkville Days. Parkville Days. I mean, right. it only comes once a year, right? Once a year, and it's it's the, the festival they have down the hill that's not freezing cold. That's all. I, that's all I'm all for. Yes. Yes. We, you and I. That was our first. Oh, that's right. I remember when we 2013. We were doing a Rambling Morons oh podcast. Good grief. That go to terrible. go to YouTube, search Rambling Don't Morons podcast, and find that. Uh, I've like, never been so cold. <laughs> I think I just got one though. That was like December of 2013. You got to find it. So if you are down in the Parkville area for Parkville Days, head up the hill after the parade and come watch some volleyball. This is the home of the NAI 2018 National Championship team. We're going to have a member of that team here in just a minute to talk to. Uh, they have a volleyball tournament going on today, starting at 10, ending at 6. Um, you're going to see the 17th ranked team in the country. You're going to see the first ranked team in the country. That's our Park Pirates. And you're also going to see something that's never happened before. You're going to see Park University play Park University. What do I mean by that? I mean Park University, Parkville. They've got a sister school in Gilbert, Arizona. Which is warmer than it is most days here. Probably oh, pretty, I mean, yeah. yeah, it's pretty nice here today. But they are brand new into the uh, into intercollegiate athletics, and they are going to play Park versus Park today at 12. 12, right? First 150 folks to come in get a free Park versus Park T-shirt, so that's going to be really cool. So let's talk a little bit about volleyball. We're going to bring in Rebecca Rothaker. She is Northlander. Hi, Rebecca. Hi. Rebecca, Hi, how you doing? Thanks for being on the show. Thanks Prepare for to be me. super Facebook famous after this. <laughs> Rebecca is a sophomore setter with the number one ranked uh, Park Pirates. Rebecca, you were a member of the national championship team last year. How do you get from Northland Christian High School to become a national champion? How does that work? Um, well, I played volleyball all my life. I mean, that helps. Playing yeah. volleyball is certainly the, the way to do it. Yeah, and I knew Park had a great program, so I checked out the school and made my way over here. That's awesome. So cool. Um, you had you had some action in, in some games last night. You were, you were setting the crap out of some balls. How, how is the season? I mean, the season literally just started last night. How do you feel about the team so far? I think we'll be really good. We're returning almost all of our starters, all except our setter. Um, and I think that we could possibly win another national championship this year. I think it's uh, I think it's in the cards yeah. for sure. Uh, most because of the PA announcer, but I'm just yeah. biased. So, <laughs> little known fact that Chris Chandler is the PA announcer for the Park Fires. I'm the one who doesn't wear all the glasses. There's two, but I'm okay. the one who, who dresses appropriately. You're, you're, for most not, things, you're so. not, the, not the flashy dress. Right, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, very cool. So, uh, tell us a little bit about the preparation. I mean, Coach Talamantes is, is the national coach of the year for a reason. I mean, he's pretty incredible. Uh, and he's doing all this like his family had a baby like a week ago. So I mean, this, two nights ago. Two nights yeah. ago. Holy crap! So tell me a little bit about the preparation that a national championship team. I mean, it's probably more than just you know a four to six practice every once in a while, and you know this is you're eating, breathing, and sleeping this stuff, aren't you? Yeah, we work hard. Uh, coach pushes us and practices always to play game-like situations. So he prepares us in that way. Uh, we also watch film. You know, we do our job. Coach does his job really well. He makes sure we're prepared. And we're always, we want to win every game, but what we always have in mind is that national championship. That's that's our main goal. That's what we're going for. So you mentioned returning all these starters, Selena Montero, Nada, and Nora Mahawad, all, all of these folks. Um, and then you're the next generation. So what are you learning from these girls that you can keep this uh, party rolling into your junior and senior year? Yeah. Um, they have really good attitude, really good mentality about them, so I'm learning that from them, also along with their skill. I get to practice with them every day, 
because they're pushing me to become a better player and hopefully fill their shoes one day. So, so I have a uh, uh, Rebecca is a good chemistry major. Oh yeah, well she's right up our alley. We're gonna quiz you on some chemistry here. For I, you, okay? uh, let's not. Let's, uh, not. <laughs> let's pretend not. Uh, hey, we apologize for the background noise. We're kind of in a practice area, aren't we not, Chris? Kind of a warm-up Yeah, this area. is going to be where court two is, and so they're just getting ramped up, and uh, uh, you guys are going to be on court one at noon, and then also you're going to take on the 17th ranked team in the country at uh, Fort Lockton. So uh, it's going to be very awesome. It's all right. She's coming back. She's, she's getting a flavor. Getting a flavor for the viewers. That is uh, Central Methodist taking on, I think that's St. Ambrose over there. That's Tyler. That's, we're going to have Steve on here in just a second. He's going to tell us all the dark and dirty secrets about So, Rebecca, tell us about your high school career at uh, Northland Christian. In volleyball? Yes. So, we, my sophomore year, we went to sectionals. We lost then. My junior year, we went to state. It was our first time ever going as a school, and we won class one state championship. And then my senior year, we did the same thing. We won another state championship. Awesome. That's not too shabby. It was pretty sweet. So you've got two matches today. Um, what's 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 the diet? What's the breakfast diet? What's the diet between games? What uh, what are you guys uh, munching on between games? Um, for breakfast, I think we're on our own, and then in between games, we'll get Panera. So Fun, you want a funnel cake from downtown? Yeah, we're going to bring up, he's gonna bring me up some funnel cakes. This is ordered funnel cake. Did you make it down the hill? Did you try some of the carnival rides last night? No, I didn't. Okay. I went to bed. That's yeah, probably a good call. Uh, when, when we interview park athletes, I have a I, the most important uh, question for all of our park athletes when I talk to them is, where is the best food in park? Very important. That's a hard question. Um, in downtown Parkville, there's Cafe de Ami. I'm not sure okay. if I'm saying it right. It's a little French restaurant. That sounds like a place I'm going to say. It's amazing. And I like Stone Canyon Pizza, too. Stone Canyon. Now you're talking. Yeah. Now you're up for alley. Yeah. Rebecca, good luck today. Uh, they're going to be playing at noon. They're going to be playing Park versus Park Gilbert at noon. Then they're going to be taking on the 17th ranked team in the country, uh, Central Methodist, at uh, 4 o'clock. Come on up. First 150 folks come in at noon, get uh, a free t-shirt, and it's going to be fun. We, we have a good time. It's a lot of loud music, a lot of great volleyball. So uh, I think next we're going to bring in Steve Wilson now. Yeah, I'm going to let Hey, Steve. Oh, for yeah. folks who may not know this young man, uh, you used to do what, you mowed lawns up here for a little while? You know, I did a little bit of everything. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I was the, the sports information director, assistant athletic director, associate AD, golf coach. I did, a, I did a whole lot here for 11 years. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, so it's, it's I, I joked yesterday, it's like, um, if you ever sell a house and then you come back and your friends live in the house, you, you want to you wanna go do all the things you used to do in the house, but it's not yours anymore, so you really, you really can't touch it. So a couple years ago, you got asked to go build an athletic program. Yeah, so I've, I've been in Gilbert, Arizona for one year. Uh, one year in a week, actually, right now. Uh, and we've built it. We've got more than 250 athletes there. We've got 11 sports going, um, including one today that, that uh, you know, we've, we've, we've tried to tried to downplay the ranking a little bit, but we know what we're up against this afternoon. Yeah. yeah it's going to be fun. Park on park crime. Yeah, we're it's going to be fun. It's really going to be fun. How's the weather out there in Gilbert? Oh, well, we... We're warm. We set a record at 114 the other day, so it's, it's uh, but it's a dry So it's cooled heat, down. So. It's cooled down a little bit. Yeah. You guys are just east of Chandler and kind of just southeast of Phoenix. Yeah, okay. southeast of Phoenix, uh, borders Mesa, borders Chandler, borders Queen Creek. i got to throw in Queen Creek. That's where I live. Um, uh, all the Gilbert people get mad at me because here. Gilbert's the best town in America. It is a town, not a city. It's a town. Oh, very cool. A town of 250,000 people. Uh, we're a really tight-knit community that really embraced us. So what all sports did you, uh, are, are, are coming online day yeah. one? Um, you know, it's everything that, that we have here in Parkville, except for track and field, cross country, and no eSports yet. Okay. Um, both of those, track and field's for sure coming. Uh, we're launching that one in the fall of 2020, and then um, you know, we're working on eSports. It's, it's, it's catching fire, and it's really popular here. It's something we've got to do. Tell me a little bit about setting up a park versus park type matchup. I mean, it, I yeah. think some of the stars have to probably align. The, the the more reasonable one I would think is maybe baseball because a lot of yeah. a lot of cold weather teams travel to warm weather places. Yeah. But this is volleyball. This is game one right out of the chute. 
Um, that had to be a logistical kind of you know tightrope walk it, it for you. Starts, it starts with President Gunderson, just the support that he gives to, to the program. Um, Shane Smead, our Vice President, Chief Operating Officer, they really made this possible. They said, we want to make the investment, we want to make the experience great for, for both sets of students, but, but ours is to get to travel here and, you know, play their second match of the year yesterday after getting on a flight. Not many teams get to do that, especially first year teams. So, you know, our university investing into that and really making it a great experience shows that they shows that we care about our kids and we, wanna, we do want to make it a great experience. Um, we will see each other some more. Uh, the golf team is our golf team is going to come up here in October and play the national. They're going to come visit us in the spring. Um, the softball will come down. We're planning a tournament at Cactus Yard, which is a stadium setting. Uh, eight field complex. There's no shortage yeah. of ball fields right. in, in, the, in so, the Phoenix area. So, so Cactus Yards is cool. It's it's each of the eight fields is, is a either a current major league or former major league backdrop on the outfield. Really? Um, the one we play primarily on is fashioned after Chase Field. They call it D-backs Field. The Diamondbacks put a bunch of money into that that field to make it nice. It's right next to uh, Wrigley Field, which. You know, I'll, I'll say it. I'm a St. Louis Cardinal fan, and, and I don't ever want to play on Wrigley Field. Ever. Well, that's our show. Thanks for joining yeah, it's us. Over, right? <laughs> um, I had to throw that in because, you know, the Royal Connection. But so, uh, yeah, so it's a great complex, and, I, and we're working on getting the baseball team down. We, you know, we, we want to unveil where we're playing our baseball games, but we can't just yet. Just say it'll have a major league flair to it. That's, that's awesome. Awesome. Well, I mean, that's you, awesome. can't, you can't swing a cat and yeah. not hit a major league ball field yeah. down there. Yeah. So that's, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, you're, you're back home here for, for a brief period of time. It's yeah. Park Mill days. Um, what do you do when you're back in town? I mean, what's, uh, what's, what's, where do you go eat? What do you, yeah. what do you, what do you look for? You know, we, we had to get them some Kansas City barbecue yeah. last night. So we stayed, we stayed relatively close to the hotel, went to the smokehouse. Nice, nice job. Yeah. Um, you know, for me, it's, it's going up and seeing friends in Platte City. Um, Platte City, shout out to Platte City. Spent some time there. Hashtag um, Platte City life. Spent some time in Shallow Springs Golf Course just a little bit. So, uh, saw some of my friends from there. Um, I'm going to hang around an extra day and uh, just, just see some friends and family. But it's it's difficult for us because our family's all here. Um, we're that far away. But it's nice to get back. And, and, you know, Coach English and the whole staff here, they, they treat us like family. We are family. And the fact that they flew you guys out here, yeah. that's, that speaks uh, highly of what they think of the program, right? Yeah. Like yeah. plane tickets. And, and you know, we've, we've got some got some good boosters that help take care of some of that that we're already cultivating down in, in Gilbert. So, um, you know, anytime you're able to do that with, with non-budgeted funds, it's a good thing. But, so, and, and Park yeah. has always had, Park has kind of been a worldwide campus, you know, traditionally. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I got my degree. I stepped on campus maybe twice. I did it basically all online. Um, what went into the uh, thought process of setting up a second campus? Yeah, so it went way deeper than, than I've been involved for about 15, 15 months. Um, but it's been it's been on President Gunderson's radar since since he's been here in 2016. Yeah. Um, you know my my uh, my leadership at Gilbert, Jeff Ehrlich. Um, been involved with it for a long time. Shane Smith's been involved with this for a long time, setting it up, and it, it is, um, man, it's a chore. You, you get all it, the last week of the first classes, figuring out where we're going to put people. The first time we've been in the building uh, for classes, long lines of um, you know folks doing everything from financial aid to, to advising, but we're getting there. Um, I got, I, I'd be, I'll get in trouble if I don't shout out to my wife, Julie Wilson. Who, Works in our advising office there. Um, He's a she, smart guy. Yeah. She did the heavy lifting this week. She's really the brains behind it. She she is the Aren't brains. Most of our wives house. the brains behind the deal. I, I don't know. Uh, she's the smart one of our house, and I'm the smart one for saying that. I think. Um, but no, she she takes care of our athletes, making sure we're we're in the right classes and all the students. Um, and she she had a heck of a week. So uh, so Tyler Price takes over for you last year. Yeah. He's not here. He's not standing here anymore. Yeah. You can tell him because he's Tyler pretty is, awful, right? Well, you know, I got the chance to, to work with Tyler for four years. I hired him here the first time around, and he went off to Baker and um, did a lot of things that, that we decided to copy here, and he's bringing those ideas here. Um, you know, anytime you're here somewhere for 11 years, it's your baby, but it's been fun to see his ideas freshen up what we do. Um, it's, it's done nothing but it's done nothing wrong. If you live in Black County or Clay County or the Northland, and you are not coming up to some of these park athletic sports, you're really missing out. I mean, they, 
They've got a golf team that's ranked now. Their baseball team is always good. They sent a whole bunch of, uh, I umpired a bunch of them in the Van Johnson League in the yeah. summer. They're fantastic. The number one team in the country uh, is here, so it's it's a heck of a lot of fun. If you aren't plugged into Park Athletics, then you really need to be. And we're excited to see how you guys are going to do. Uh, yeah, yeah you're, uh, you know, you're moving along. You're absolutely right. You can't go wrong. This is the best deal of a ticket in town. Um, I'll, I'll plug them a little bit. Soccer games are really fun here. If you haven't been around the drums and soccer games, it's there is no experience in town like it. So stuff we're trying to replicate in Gilbert, and uh, but, I, but I think we're getting there. Park versus Park, 12 noon today, you say, Chris? 12 noon today. They're playing at uh, Park Gilbert is playing at 10. They're starting off the afternoon, and then they're going to play Park Parkville uh, at 12 o'clock. First 150 fans to come in. Get a free T-shirt. I mean, come on. You can't beat that. And then you guys are going to head down the hill to Parkville days and we'll eat a bunch of food that I'm not going to be able to eat. <laughs> Park versus Park at noon. Come park your butt in the seat and listen to Chris Cameron on the PA call. How about that? No, no to charge. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll charge you, but you don't have to tax it. Okay, so. Thanks for joining us. We'll yeah. see you guys here again in a few we'll minutes. Down, another down Landmark Live coming at you shortly. Stay tuned. We'll be at Parkville Days.